everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to do the bit stuff. It's called a bed because you've got this single bit on top and then a flat bit at the bottom. Okay, so what you need is your loom, of course, and the pick stick. Okay, so what you need to do, um, you get a band, any kind of, okay, I've got a band. Okay, you get a band, I've got a white one here, and you have your tab end. Okay, so for your tab end, you have to place it on like that, so it go in diagonal, on peg one and two, but if you don't have numbers on, where your tab end is, or on either side. It doesn't matter if it's this side or that side. I've chosen this side. Okay. So what you need to do is carefully just go down here and make sure you push them down. Very simple, just but before you go any further but you only go up to this peg here leaves two pegs empty two pegs at the top empty okay do the same on the opposite side but in the middle stop when you get to the middle So you do something different in the middle. Okay, then when you get to the opposite side, do the same diagonal feature. Okay. And then, like I did on the other side, just using single bands, so not doubling up, just go ahead. Make sure you push it down because it all sometimes it doesn't go as you expect. I have had that experience. True. Look at this, I've got all of these bands done, but I haven't done the middle row. It's very important that you don't do the middle row yet, because what you have to do is double the bands up. But the middle row is going to be this top bit, so if I was you, I might pick a different colour. So, I'm going to get rid of my orange colours. My orange band, even. Um, and then, ooh, I'm going to use sparkly green. Oops, that's super. Okay, so what you need to do now is double the bands up. That's why I wanted you to stop, because otherwise you might have got a single band, but you need to do double. Okay? But this time, all the way to the end peg. To the end peg. Okay. But so far, your loom should just look like this. Oops, I can't show my loom for some reason. Your loom should just look like this. Very simple. Oh yeah, with the cross bit at the end here. If your loom doesn't look like that, 
pause the video now and then and then place them in and then place the bands on that gap. Okay, so now I'm easily just doubling the bands up. Very simple, very nice. And looks amazing once you're done. So I'm just getting more bands. If you haven't got much of this colour that you're doubling up or going inside, I suggest not using it. Because you're losing nearly, I don't know. 22 of each, 24 of each. So all together, we're getting at least 28 bands, maybe a few more. And you may think this is a bit small, so at the end I'll show you how to make an extension. For me it's fine because I have like a little wrist. But for other people it may not be fine. So I'll show you how to make an extension at the end. I'm not going to even bother using greens now, I'm just going to go light, sparkly and see I'm getting bored of trying to pick the right ones out. Oh yeah, and by the way, if any of your bands are twisted, untwist them. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I just caught, I just, well, I just froze for a minute and thought about it. You know, just, ah, I've got to tell you that you need bands to be untwisted. It helps a lot if your bands weren't untwisted. Were untwisted. Move them. Oops. Simply, we're done. Okay. So, pause the video here if you're still going on with your bands being put on. But this is what it should look like. From the start to the end. From the start to the end. Okay. So now what we need to do is just double check that your bands are not twisted sorry i don't mean twisted as in um this twisted that's fine but i mean twisted as in like that twisted it was on the top and now it's on the bottom okay so what we need to do now is get your hook um 
Move the top one. Move the top one back. Move the top one back. I move and get the bottom one. Like this. I'll show you again. Move the top one back. And get the bottom one. Okay. And then move that over to here. To, to the one on your right. Okay, move the bottom one always to the one on your right. No matter what, bottom one to right. Simple. Okay, then that must mean the top one goes the other way. If that band slips off, just easily place it up. Okay, and then do the same all the way down, but if you missed that the first time, I'll show you one more time. Okay, so what you need to do is move the top one back and grab the bottom one. Grabbing the bottom one. And then the bottom one, make sure these are pushed down. And the bottom one always needs to go to the right side. There we go. And then do the same with the top band. Just that one needs to go. Oh no, not again. It's always happening to me. So that goes the opposite way. So now you need to do that all the way down. Every single way down to this point there. Okay? And then I'll show you the next step. If you're still looping by the end and I'm done, just pause the video. Or if I'm looping and you're done, sorry about my stuff. Sometimes that happens with me. Sometimes I get really slow and cool. And if I have to say this myself, I will. Sometimes things don't go as well as you hope. Like once I tried videoing something and it turns out I accidentally stopped it halfway through the video, which was very stupid of me. So yeah, that's my point. Anyway. Laugh all you like about it. I found it funny, my parents found it funny, even my brother found it funny. So. Yeah. Mistakes happen, but sometimes they're more funny mistakes. So. Okay. Oh, but yeah, by the way, you know you've done this wrong. If you have done this wrong, you know that when you've done it wrong 
is because if you look here, there is a. Uh, I'm just getting it closer. Oh man, now I've lost it. Where is it? Oh yeah. If you look here, there's a cross, a little cross there. There's a little cross there. That should be there when you're looping. You know you've done it wrong because that cross should should not be there. It's not there, but it should be there. By the way, I also do other videos that I hope you would watch sometime. I do, I also do, um, like here I've got a snake. I also teach how to make snakes. <laughs> if I can find one. My flower, it's very mini still. Um, but okay. I just wanted to mention that. I don't know why I just did. So, if you like this video, hopefully, you would watch some of my other videos. And if you're like scared because this one's near the end, because sometimes I taught my friend this and she got scared because she didn't want to do it because it was the end one. But trust me, do it, even though it is the end one. Wait one minute while my band is twisted. Do it. Okay. Right, now we've got to the end. Now we need to go all the way back to the top. To the top. Then we're just doing the basic looping. Simple. Just doing the basic clipping, really easy. Couldn't be easier. I hope it's only basic clipping. Do you want? I suggest doing one side first and then the other. But if you want to, you can go one tick, one tick, one tick, and so on. That should do. Sorry about that little slight interruption. I didn't know what my band was doing then, but it's done something. Yeah, wow, what are my band's doing today? Sorry, my bands are going all crazy. And that is not just a joke, they are. Because some people think that's a joke, but it's not. They are going at 
actually crazy. Eh, that'll do. It will not break. You will not break, little dandies. Sorry for that other slight interruption. Yeah, yeah now we're going back on the circuit. to do the upside. Where's the other side? Yeah. Why have I just made it further away from this room? I find it if you do the bands closer to you, sometimes it's easier. Yeah, we're more set to go after this. Nothing popped. Sorry, I heard, I heard a popping sound there. That was just me looking. Well, actually, two more steps after this. Okay, so what you need to do now is inside there, you have that white band that we placed at the beginning. You get the white band and loop it over to the middle peg like this. Okay. Then easily you do the same with the other side. And now you should have like this triangle bit there. What you need to do is stick your hook inside the triangle bit ooh, and get a band. I wouldn't mind it. Okay, get a band, pull it slightly, pull it slightly, but also only slightly, only just pulling it and then pull the peg hook through like this right what you need to do is get the band of the hook and make a smaller and a bigger end this is my smaller end the one that's inside this is my bigger end the one on the other side this one's my bigger this one's my bigger you take the smaller one and put it through the bigger one. So you see it's out of size, but if you pull it around, you can get the band to the front. Okay. Sometimes I just do it loosely, just in case this doesn't work out. Okay. Then straight away, pull it off. Okay. 
you're probably wondering why you need that loop there. It's because you need to put the OS clip on. Instead of just shoving the band through, I find it easy using your foot. I'm nearly done, but do it gently. I am done. What I need to do now is, well first you need to rough this tip, but if it's too small for you, carry on watching this video, or a secret, carry on watching this video and I'll show you how to make an extension. For me it isn't, but I'm going to show you how to make the extension anyway. Okay, so what you need to do is get some bands. Mine I'm going to say for my wrist about, for if you have roughly about the same length, same width of mine, if I was making one like this, because like I did on my triple single, or also known as a waterfall, I put nine bands. So I'm going to put nine bands again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Okay, so I've got that. Then what you're going to do is place these two bands onto the thing. Onto this. Okay, and then what you're going to do is just start looping away. You don't really need an extension for this, but I should do anyway. Cause I don't need an extension, but I showed you anyway. And then to add the clip, get it one end.
quartier. Là-bas. Why is my sister doing it? Oh, well, part of it. And there you have it. You have your bridge style bracelet. Thanks for watching, and I hope you watch my other videos. Okay, bye!